I'm Kalin Dimitrov. I'm the embedded lead for Salto KS here in Amsterdam. Um, I, I'm a hard real-time embedded systems engineer, so my job now is more around making sure that our um, embedded product actually is safe, secure, and scalable so that we basically can develop very quickly on, on it. But in previous lives, I, I used to do a lot of low-power wireless and other things. Um, contrary to Marine, I graduated um, a sort of conventional university around, well, actually, almost exactly 10 years ago now. Um, um, doing electrical engineering, but um, also I find that the skills Marine has um, sort of acquired here at Codem are very, very relevant to what you do in your day-to-day -day job. Well, my name is Marijn. I am 28 years old. Um, I started studying at Codem one and a half years ago. I used to be a snowboard teacher and now since after one and a half years I got my first job as a junior embedded developer at Salto KS. I just finished my internship there, which was really nice. I worked a lot together with Kalin. Um, Saltogas is a company that does cloud-based access control. So basically connecting smart locks to the internet so you can open your door uh, remotely or via your phone and it makes access control easier for people. Yeah, well, in general, Salto KS is a very diverse company. We have uh, more than 40 engineers now and I think they're, they come from more than 20 different nationalities, so lots of different backgrounds and experiences. Um, so that's a very good thing for us because it means that people approach problems differently um, and it, it helps us sort of stay grounded. So engineering background or specific schools is definitely not something we look for when we hire people. Um, our uh, interview process is entirely based on skills and merit. Um, so I just saw CV um, for an intern. It looked interesting. I didn't know what Kodem was at that point, so we just had an interview, and I liked Marine, and we offered him, I guess, the next day. I really liked their company from their uh, innovative way of thinking, so I also was hoping okay, they might appreciate Kodem as well, because it's also very innovative. Uh, so when I went there, I had an interview. At first, I wasn't sure what I, what the company was all about. But when I got there, I got a really nice interview with Kaleen. He was very uh, open and helped me uh, figure out a lot of things. Because obviously, during an interview, you get questions that you don't know. But he was very open towards it and showed me uh, the solution as well. So I felt very comfortable there. And I was like, OK, I can learn a lot from Kaleen and from the company. Because there are a lot of good engineers there. and. That was mainly the reason. Like I felt like it's a very good group of people, and they were very kind. So that's that's a company I want to work for. Marine's approach to solving things, and from my well follow-on conversations with him, it's how he gets basically taught here was very aligned with what you would expect for a sort of. Um, person joining a software engineering job in general. I would say it's comparable to uh, someone coming out from a conventional uh, sort of university-based education. Um, I think there's obviously slight differences. In university, you get taught a bit more theory, which sometimes helps, but you don't necessarily get taught the practical aspects of doing your job. Uh, at Codem, it feels like you get taught the practical aspects very good, and you pick up some of the theory while you're doing stuff, but you also pick up that um, sort of troubleshooting and thought process of trying to find solutions to problems, which really helps because most of the theory, I guess, you can learn, well, read about and figure out. So very comparable, slightly different, but very comparable. Hmm. He did a lot, did of, a lot of things. He did a lot of things. I think by the end of his first month, we had to sit down to try and evaluate if he was happy and if we were happy, and obviously we were happy and... Obviously, he was happy, otherwise he wouldn't still be working for us. But we were like, okay, so what happened in the last month? And I think we had like three or four major things that he managed to go through. And he was like, wow, that's only four weeks. And I was like, yeah. yeah. I was very, very surprised with the things I was already able to do after one month. Of course, there was a lot of things I had to learn, but it felt like oh, I can actually already help the company with certain things. Obviously, slower than a professional developer already, but that's fine. And I was very happy that yeah, I can already do things that actually useful. 
But yeah, I think in general he helped proof of concept certain things that were on our to-do list for a while, which um, helped us build a better picture of what we need to do in the future. And um, at least one of his proof, well, one of his proof of concepts he got to actually implement as an actual solution for our next release, which is the file system encryption changes. Um, and some of the other proof of concepts he worked on will be going into our, well, they are already in our road roadmap, so they will be hitting releases in maybe 12, 16 months, something like that. Um, so I think if people want, they can make a really um, sort of lasting contribution to a company, even as interns. Um, because fundamentally, it's all about having the skills to um, tackle a problem in a systematic manner in most cases, rather than having 25 years of experience and magical knowledge about something. So, um, and of course, people expect interns to need guidance, so that's fine. Definitely believe in that you can do it. Um, I definitely went in for the first few weeks that I was like, ah, oh, this is so overwhelming, this is crazy. Uh, they're asking me to do things I've never seen before. But the thing we learn here at Codem is we learn how to problem solve and we're very good at it. So just try it. And if you have a good mentor like Lynn, they will, they will always be there to help you and ask questions too. So you'll be fine. So uh, Moran's internship ended two weeks ago, I guess. Uh, he is now joined us as a part-time junior engineer. Um, and he is continuing some of the things he did before. I don't think there's going to be a substantial change in, uh, well, how he works or um, the type of tasks he gets. Right now, we're in the process of refactoring um, and rewriting certain areas of our code base just as uh, general quality improvements. Um, and Marine's working closely with one of our other engineers towards that. I think they're close to finishing it now.